She told me that when she saw her husband put a mask on, when she saw Kevin put a mask on to get on a plane, she almost started crying. <laughs> she said, I hated that he put that on his face. It's emasculating it is. to him. It's demeaning. It's demoralizing. It, it says, I can't think for myself. No. And I don't know, you know, I think women like you and me, we're like, bring back the manly men. Make men, like, men again. Make men manly again. Like, bring back masculinity is hot. Let's bring it back. You know, You're this. Exactly right. Yeah. I was like, what better place than hunky Home Depot, baby? <laughs> make masculinity great again because, you know, masks are emasculating, demeaning, and demoralizing. <laughs> oh, boy. And here I was thinking that saving people's lives, protecting the health of yourself, your neighbors, your friends, your family, that that was attractive. Well, let's consider the attractiveness or lack of attractiveness of these two women and their backgrounds who were talking about all this. First of all, the woman who was doing the most of the talking, Heidi St. John. She's an author, a speaker, a congressional candidate, Republican, of course, in Washington State's third congressional district. Uh, she's very conservative. She has seven children. She homeschooled them. She's got grandchildren. Um, she was asked recently, well, what makes you more qualified in terms of service to the nation than an army veteran, a fellow Republican who's also running for the seat who served for 20 years in the army and she replied life experience i've been fighting on the front lines for freedom much longer and i've lived in the district longer Whew. well according to gateway pundit which is a conservative publication uh, miss st john's has had several businesses dissolved because of a failure to pay taxes that is demeaning now how about demoralizing well you may have recognized the other woman in this conversation carrie prejean about 13 years ago she was a miss california beauty queen she ran in the donald trump miss usa pageant and during the competition she was asked for her views about same-sex marriage and carrie prejean said well i i don't support gay marriage i believe in opposite marriage and then she didn't win and she blamed her not winning on her answer. And she said that her free speech had been taken away. Now, regarding the masks, let me be clear. I hate these things. I've said over and over, I don't find them comfortable. I find them stifling. But the point is not whether they look good on you. The point is to help protect you. And the fact of the matter is, I find nothing less attractive than somebody who is wearing a mask improperly or is wearing the sort of mask that doesn't really protect you. And let me be clear, N95 masks, they do protect you. Some of these nylon masks and some of the very thin ones, they don't. So if we all use a little bit more sort of science and data, we might actually be effective in all of this. However, if your concern is about, well, what is attractive in a fellow human being? Well, maybe Miss Prejean and Miss St. John's, instead of complaining about masks, maybe they could use their platform and use this podcast, whatever it was, I don't know, to promote vaccines, to actually, you know, another thing that would save even more lives than masks, which when properly worn can stop the spread of COVID-19. Use your platform, say, hey, there's nothing more attractive than saving somebody's lives. And that's why we're telling all of you, go get the vaccine. You will protect yourself because you know what? There's nothing more attractive than a live man as opposed to one who is dead. That's what we're talking about here. Again, St. John and Prejean, well, who knows what they're really after, perhaps just some self-promotion. But there you have it, the background on them, take their advice, leave it or not. Personally, I don't find either of them particularly attractive, whether they have a mask on or not, simply because of how they speak about these things. But that's a whole other issue. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section.